Hello everyone, this is Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Nuts and Bolts Torqued. And uh, yeah, in between episodes. I actually filmed two more episodes, and they're gone. Well, they're not gone. I still have them, but they're useless. <laughs> I'll explain that, we'll get to that, and then we'll get to new stuff today. Um, I had some bugs, some serious bugs with my grid power. So my grid power right now is normal. It's where it should be. I am using only six. <laughs> and... Uh, Generating 64 is exactly the amount I am generating in my previous saves, which I had to refer go back to a backup That at one point said I was using 7300 grid power and producing something like 500 Which I still was only producing 64. No 64. I was producing about 90 either way um, Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with grid power. I don't know if I fixed it uh, I uninstalled the pack, I reinstalled the pack, I deleted the data for extra utilities. Then I loaded up the pack, and the power usage was right, but the power I was making was still wrong. It was saying I was making 256, then I closed it down, opened it again, and doubled up to 512. So I uninstalled the pack again, reinstalled the pack again, and the numbers are correct. The numbers are correct right now, so I'm hoping things are fixed. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I had to refer to a backup, and, uh, yeah, bad things. Because once that power jacked up, we weren't, all of our power right now was based off of wireless, wireless transmitters, which we're going to fix before long. Um, not today, but probably tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, we need to get off that. We're going to switch to flux networks and uh, conduits, but we need to get to that point. But today, today... Slash and rant because I had a very frustrating two days. I, that's why I didn't get a video out yesterday There was nothing I could do. So anyway, let's get back to what we're doing here today. We're going to finish off with uh, Advanced rocketry at least quest wise. So let's go here go here. We actually are finished quest and I'll show you here We did this quest yesterday. This was well not yesterday it would have been two days ago um, Just to the moon because we went to the moon. Uh, I did this robo surgeon one Nothing to do with anything. I just got it out of the way because, well, why not? Um, I also made the space station assembler, the orbital laser drill, and the space station ID chip. Um, that is so we can set up our uh, orbital laser drill up in space, which is what we're actually going to do today. So let's get to that. Uh, in my other saves, I didn't actually do it, so it's actually new to me. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Um, I think this is all fueled up. Yes, it's all fueled up. We have tons of rocket fuel now. Not a problem. Uh, what I've done here is I made a small little pad here. And this little rocket here actually isn't to fly to the moon or even into space. This one actually has a satellite bay in it. Uh, we need that to send this puppy here, this here, this little platform. So these painted cobblestone and these painted cobblestone are basically going to be our space station. They are just a platform for me to work in space because I don't actually know if I'm going to build a space station at this point. I don't think there's really a reason to. But I want to get up there and set up the drill and see how it works. Uh, this here is a docking pad. That's not special. Let's look here. Docking pad. Boom. Super cheap. Uh, that's just going to tell the rocket where to land on the space station. Otherwise, it just kind of lands in the center. And if it's on top of a building and you build a building, because I could build this pretty tall. Uh, I'm not sure the exact height. I th think I read somewhere it was like 64. Uh, the pad itself can be a 16 by 16 max, just to know that. Um, but let's get this going. We need to actually build this puppy. Um, in there I had the docking bay and the chip for the space station ID chip. So let's look at the recipes for that. So the satellite bays are cheap. So set satellite bay chip. Satellite bay right there. Bam. Not a big deal. Pretty cheap. And the actual chip is right there. Again, basic circuit and then straight to ID chip. Not a big deal. That's going to take a couple seconds, not a big deal. Uh, let's clean our inventory really quick. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, what else did I make? I made all this stuff. This is everything that we need to build the orbital laser. Took over 100 titanium. Not really a problem at this point, but just to give you an idea. I made nine extra liquid field rock mm, by mistake. I knew I needed more, and I was going to build a big rocket, so yeah. I'm actually going to build a massive rocket for show once we're done with advanced rocketry just for the build. But I don't know how I'm going to fit in nine more rockets. Anyway, uh, not that they're expensive. Just some titanium, I guess. 
Uh, I built more gas pads, fueling station. Anything else here? No. That's my Planet ID chip. You should keep that if you ever want to go back. Um, keep that chip around. Do not lose those chips. Otherwise, you're going to have to replace them. Uh, anything weird in there? Nothing else. The other thing is this. Yeah, the lens. This is the lens for the thing. It doesn't take one of these lenses. It takes this, takes one of these special lenses. So something to keep track of. Uh, let's see here. So in here now, we should actually have a space station container, which is what we need, and a space station ID chip. Um, we're going to go over to this, and I've already built this rocket. It is good to go. Go in here. We have a satellite bay. We can take that space station container, throw it in there. Now, this thing is all fueled up, I believe, and ready to go. We are just going to go to launch. That thing is going to launch up to space and build our space station for us. So that is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that is that. Now that we've done that, we need to actually build a rocket to get up into the space station. So I have a setup here ready to go. That and that. Let's grab these. Let's go over here. And we'll just throw them here. I'll fix that in a second. There we go. And that. And this is just going to be our normal rocket. Nothing special here at all in the slightest. I guess we'll just do two layers and then a little bit more. I'm going to want a lot more of these fuel tanks for our show rocket later on. But for now, this is what we have. And there we go. Boom, boom. We actually got a fair amount here, don't we? There we go. I guess there. <laughs> Looks a little more like a rocket. Uh, let's grab our guidance computer and our seat. Go up here. Can throw that there. Ooh. Throw that there. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother scanning it. I'm just gonna. Ooh, wrong one. I'm just gonna tell it to build. And again, that's going to take a while, and that's going to do that thing. Uh, let's throw that in there. I also built this. This is going to be the power we use in space. So I have a compactor. I have a pneumastic, new, pneumismatic dynamo. I have two auxiliary transmission coils and a pneumatic press. Um, basically, the way I'm going to make power, at least while we're up there, uh, is with aluminum. We're going to take a couple stacks of aluminum with us. And we're actually going to turn them into power. It's going to turn them into coins. Uh, the compactor will turn blocks into coins. I think it turns them into 27. Uh, let's see here. Was the, it doesn't even matter which one. Let's go iron. As long as you have that upgrade. So that upgrade will make it so it makes 27 of these coins. If you go to use on these in the dynamo, each one, each one of these coins will produce 16,000 RF. Um, so it's just a good way. And I got the upgrades just to make it work a little faster. These things are expensive. They took Osmeridium maggots. Um, but I did idle for a while, and I think I have about 12 more Osmeridium on top of the four I spent. So in time, I'm going to have to make a bunch of those. But uh, <laughs> I need more power for that machine, which is what we're going to work on tomorrow. We already did it once. It, it worked well, too. Um, we'll get there when we get there. And okay, the rocket is all built. It's good to go. Uh, I actually ran into a problem <laughs> when I built this. I didn't count. I thought I had the structure tower tall enough. I didn't. Uh, I have it up to the guidance computer. The actual seat is actually considered one block higher. So I actually had to build one more structure tower block to get this to build correctly. It's something I didn't even think about. Uh, but it should be good to go now. So let's go in here. Let's go into the guidance computer and throw in the space station ID chip. That should be ready to fly to the space station now. Um, I think we have everything we need. I want to make sure we get this stuff, conduit. Let's go into our backpack really quick. We've got a generator. We've got backup power in case we need it. We've got lots of energy conduit. This energy conduit, too, is the only one <laughs> that you can build um, easily. All the rest take these pellets uh, right here. HDPE pellets, which we'll be getting into probably... Well, we may be making a PRC next episode, but we're probably going to need a second one shortly after um, because we're going to be getting into power, mechanism power. But, uh, yeah, we're going to take off now. I'm just babbling. I think we got everything. If I don't go now, I'm just going to keep checking. So 
Let's do it. Let's take off. Let's go to space. Let's set up this uh, orbital mining drill and uh, see how she works. There we go. We're descending, hopefully to our platform. We got a square thing down there. I'm guessing that is our platform. We'll see in a second. We're definitely above the planet, which is pretty cool. I don't know how much further we have to go. Oh, there it is. Look at that. And it already says destination Terra, which is nice to know that we can go back at any time. But yeah, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. We're in space. I fly exceptionally high when I jump. <laughs> so that's going to make building annoying. Um, let's see here. Let's go to this thing we need to build. So we need to build this orbital mining laser. And boom. I would like to just that. No, I don't like it there. Let's bring it out one more, maybe. There we go. That'll work. We'll just throw it here. And I think we have everything. Well, we better, because otherwise it's a trip. Let's take that, 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 that. Let's get some room and grab that. So, we're going to need four output hatches. So, let's grab those. We're going to need a bunch of these advanced structure blocks. And every one of these is five in... But five and a third... Uh, titanium, so yeah, quite expensive. Oh, come down here. There we go. Uh, the rest is glass. So let's do that. Second one, glass too. Yes. I think the lens actually goes in the machine, so we won't have to worry about that, I don't think. Okay, it looks like the second level of this is almost entirely <laughs> these advanced machine blocks, so except for maybe the center. Advanced machine, advanced machine, glass. Yeah, all advanced machine blocks. Uh, let's take the lens out of our inventory. Throw that there. Then come down. I, I really wish I didn't come down because it means I'm going to have to jump twice now. <laughs> Building a space a little frustrating. So the laser drill is here. So this one's going to take a special placement because it's going to have to face the right way or the multi-block is not going to place right. There we go. So that gets it its own personal jump. <laughs> I would almost wish I took those leg upgrades out before I came. Power link, power input, power input. And this thing has seven power inputs. So I don't know how much power this thing's going to take, but we only have so much, so I'm not that worried about it. Advanced machine, glass, and glass. Okay. So I'm guessing the last floor is just five advanced machine blocks. Let's see here. It looks that way because that's what we have left. So advanced machine, advanced machine, advanced machine, advanced machine, advanced machine. Let's go down and punch front and see what happens. Bam. We got a multi-block. There we go. Okay. And I completely forgot that the bottom of this is going to need to, ooh, is going to be able to <laughs> need to see the, uh, the ground. So I think it can work through glass, but I'm not positive. But uh, I'm not concerned about that, really. I'm just concerned about actually getting it done without flying 100 miles up in the space. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Or breaking the multi-block, of course, because that would be a pain. There we go. And that should do that. Once we slowly descend. Oh, I do not want to do that. There we go there put that there just so I don't fall in all willy-nilly and there good enough I'm happy with that uh, next I guess we'll throw this down really quick and get that linked up and powered up uh, power for that I'll probably just use one of these just for the short term configure it uh, Figure output. Can this not direct connect to that? Okay, not a big deal. Let's just uh, throw that there. Grab an energy conduit, I guess, and go here. There we go. That's got power now. Throw rocket fuel in there and get this linked up. So just when we do want to go home, <laughs> we can. There we go. I'll just throw these over here I guess for now they could be moved later on not a big deal 
So if we need our stuff, we got it. There we go. So far, so good. Now, we need power. So let's get this set up. I think I'm going to set this up kind of floating in the air. So, because I, all the power conduits are up here anyway, so I might as well. Uh, we'll need, there, we got everything. I guess we could do it like, I guess like this maybe? This should work. Let's try this. Let's see if we can get this to auto export to the bottom of this. Which side's the bottom? I would think this is bottom. Let's just set everything to output. <laughs> Uh, yeah, everything I'll put, then we're going to need that upgrade, so let's grab that, and these. Let's grab, yep, and throw two of these in this one, there we go. Let's throw, we're going to need some temporary power, just to get it, well, no! <laughs> Okay. I, I thought I was going to lose something important. It wouldn't even matter if I lost that right now. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's just Frankenstein this for right now. Because it didn't want... Oh, it did automatically power at that time. Okay, good enough. Uh, then we can... We need this. We need these. We're going to throw those in there. It is slowly making them. Excellent. Hopefully it exports it to that and gets power into this. We'll see. And I don't know if power can be pulled off the side of these. I honestly can't remember. We'll see in a second. I guess... I don't know if you need more than one connection, but I doubt it. <laughs> but you never know. I kind of want to do some testing. Let this go here. And I know this thing needs a redstone signal anyway, so that's not a big deal. We did bring a lever, so we're good there. Did I put them? I think it did. That's not getting power. Power input plug. Okay, these plugs are powered separately. That is good to know. Uh, kind of weird, but good to know. Is this one? This one's not. That's right, this machine is wonky. I'm going to have to move this whole setup. And okay, we've got this all wired up. Should be good to go. I don't know why that's up there. I did not use that at all. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it's wired up. It's good to go. It's getting coins. It's not backed up. I should link a wire there just to keep the power buffered. But again, I don't know how much we're going to be using this. We'll see here. We're going to put it to the test here and see if this thing is worthwhile. Uh, we might as well automatically extract items. We only have these conduits from a quest reward. I just figured I'd use them. Uh, we'll set that to insert. I know this thing needs the lens. Oh, I already put the lens in there. And we need a lever. It needs a redstone signal. And oh, I think you need to set a space on the planet too. Let's do something. Some place we won't go. Let's do 5,000, 5,000. And what do we want it set to? Spiral? I, I, I don't know what the difference is, to be honest. Line X, line Z, spiral. Really have no idea what those things mean. We're just going to turn it on, though, and see what happens here. So it is working. It's draining the power really quick. <laughs> um, definitely not going to be able to keep up with it. But that's not, you know, a big surprise with a uh, void, or, void miner, which this thing pretty much is. Uh... Let's see here. It's getting emerald. It seems to pull things. Is that pulling things at a four or five? See, when it gets an item other than cobble, it's definitely pulling five of them, which is a little odd, but uh, kind of cool at the same time. Five emerald and one go is actually pretty decent. Uh, silver. Kind of curious if it does pull the uninspected minerals, because someone in the comments said that it wasn't doing it, said something about the config not being set up right, but uh, we'll, we'll know pretty quick here. That is working, though. Uh, I'm curious. Will this work up here? Is it going to work? Wow. I'm, I'm afraid to. Okay. That's cool. What? Why is this working up here? 
I didn't think this thing was... When we went to the moon, I couldn't get this to work. Huh. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Uh, do we need anything? No, in particular, actually. Let's just go here. See what this is doing. It's not particularly fast, at least with this amount of power. I mean, we're only producing, what, 240? Yeah, 20, 240 RF a tick. I can't expect a lot out of that. Um, to get a real good, valid comparison, I'd have to be able to throw 900 RF a tick, which is what we're throwing at our quarry. But, uh, oh, no, I thought that was on Inspected Mineral. Still not seeing it. What I'm going to do here is probably idle a couple minutes. Probably give it about five minutes time. See how much it fills up. Uh, and see if we get any of that on Inspected Mineral. To see if it is, you know, actually valid. Okay, I'm back. It's been about five minutes. And uh, it's found a decent amount of stuff. Not a ton. I think the quarry would have found more. Um, well, maybe, maybe not. It's weird how this finds stuff. When it finds stuff, it finds... See, it just found gravel for the very first time, so it grabbed five of them. And it's always in groups of five. So five marble, five sand, <laughs> five salt. Um, but it's found on Inspector Minerals. It is found rutile, so it has titanium. It has found dilithium. Uh, it also found aluminum, which is odd, because you can't get aluminum normally. Usually it's bauxite. Uh... It's got an appetite. It's got pretty much everything. It's got an five emeralds. No diamonds yet, but I'm sure they'd come. Um, doesn't seem bad. I, I might come back later when we have a better power source. And two, well, it'll be about two episodes before I'd be able to do it. And just see how quick this thing can go. Because it is going nowhere near the speed it needs to. It seems to do an operation... Well, I mean, that's going on across all of them, isn't it? Because all these power plugs are independent. I know that as well. So it's kind of weird how it works like that. So it's using about 7,000 RF per operation. So I don't know RF-wise if that's very good. Uh, but if this thing could take an immense amount of RF and work super fast, it's worth it like game. Um, but it really comes down to that. Yeah, see, it seems to click off every time it hits about 1,200 RF times 7. <laughs> <laughs> that's almost about 8200 uh but it might be a little less just because the way it's going up right 140 yeah it's really weird how this works but uh yeah it's pretty interesting found some decent stuff um this was more experiment anyway i mean i've never used this thing i did not know if it was going to be a magical machine of magic or total junk <laughs> but it seems decent it seems actually decent and uh i'd like to throw more power at it but we just don't have it at this time we we'll definitely have it later on to be able to give it a go um and it's finding a decent amount of resources it's really not doing bad i mean salt that is something that we're gonna need for mechanism we're already getting a ton of salt anyway uh getting dilithium without having going to the moon is actually very interesting um Rutile, we can get that either way. On a spectrum minerals, our setup is quicker. I mean, being able to use the other one with just gravel is 10 times easier because uh, the quarry pulls up tons, tons of gravel. I have it set to a drawer to uh, void off one emerald upgrade and to void anything over, over that. So uh, I always have tons of gravel. Of course, not right now because we don't have any transfer nodes. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting. I'm glad I did this. But uh, that is pretty much all we're doing up here. This is all I plan to do in space, I think, at this time. I just want to come up here and do the quest. I mean, we had to make this stuff either way. So you might as well use it, right? So the only quest we have left in here is uh, AE2. AE2. But we are not going to be doing that next episode. Because, well, I came to the conclusion, even if I jump to AE2 right away, I'm going to lose this. I just, I'm going to lose this. I know the crafting is better. We may build it, and I may start storing things there, but I'm still going to use this for a while until we can get into wireless. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this one here. Uh, it's been a pretty good episode, I think. We launched a uh, space station up in a rocket. Uh, we launched ourselves up in a rocket. <laughs> we built the orbital mining drill. We've got this little space station here. It's just a little pad, but it's it's the basis for the future if we wanted to do something else in space. I may build a little, little space station up here uh, just for fun just for funsies later on. 
Um, but yeah. But yeah, I'm going to end this here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.